An individual charged with a DUI is facing the numerous consequences, the most basic of which are dealing with someone's license. A person, even with a low-level DUI, could lose their license for six months or longer, could have restrictions, problems with uh, maintaining a, a driving privilege or professional license as well, especially if someone holds a CDL. That creates even greater difficulties because someone with a CDL is held to a higher standard than the average everyday driver. But the most important component to a DUI is the criminal case, the one that deals with their freedom, their livelihood, uh, be able to uh, have a clean record or a criminal record, facing consequences at the courts. It's very daunting for individuals who otherwise uh, don't have any record. And the one difference between a DUI and other offenses is that there's nothing innately or inherently illegal about drinking or driving, or even a combination of both to a small degree. A person who's 21 years of age or older can lawfully consume alcohol. A person with a valid license can lawfully drive. The misnomer or the misconception is the word drinking and driving. And it's in fact, that itself is not the illegality. The illegality is driving while impaired or under the influence of alcohol. Someone can lawfully probably have a one small drink and get behind the wheel and drive. Depending on their body size, maybe even have two. But if you have two and a half, all of a sudden you're breaking the law. But if that person waits an hour, they're okay to drive again. And there's these mental gymnastics we go through in trying to rationalize where we are and what we can do. And eventually when someone is judgment impaired, ultimately they will make a poor judgment decision and drive when they shouldn't drive. And then they find themselves in the back of a squad car in handcuffs being arrested. And that's the danger. Because other offenses, no matter how little or how much there may be, let's say drugs, or how little or how much someone may steal, that's inherently wrong, but not a DUI. But courts and prosecutors understand this. An individual who has no prior history or record will be seen a little differently than someone who has a long history. But unfortunately with DUIs, it's very common to have a second or even third DUI. And in those situations, the best person in the world may be facing very dire consequences. Very frequently, jail time uh, is on the table, significant fines, penalties, onerous probation conditions, and ultimately be labeled as a person with an alcohol problem and uh, even worse, a conviction and criminal record arising out of it. So that's why it's so important to have someone guide you along the way that has the knowledge and experience to deal with these very offenses and can find not just what can be to, to help mitigate the harm, but challenge every step of the way and try to fight the case to its fullest extent.